what's good guys we are back in the storage with some little pickups this is some stuff that i've got over the week and i would figure i would share with you guys a little bit all right so where should we start first let's go ahead and start with the hats cats have been pretty good this week uh, first one we're going to start off with is Hat Club Ocean Drive Astros Prototype Logo. Uh, 50th anniversary. We got this one in a 7.5. And, and we also have it in a 7.58. Uh, the next one is this OG Astros Brick Hat. We have a couple of these. We have four. We have it in a 7.5 with a 20 years patch. Peach UV. So we have a 7.5. Seven five, another seven and a half, and I believe another seven five. Yeah, so we got two and two. We got four total. Excited about those. Um, me and the fam band, we just went to Disneyland, and I thought some of these pins were kind of cool. I feel like I could probably sell them. So we have uh, three Spider Mans. This one I believe spins, which is kind of cool. I think that would look sick on a hat. You got like a Spider Man on a paper, and then. Uh, 3D kind of um, Spider-Man one which is pretty cool we have Mickey on a skateboard we have Oswald and then we have Oliver and company we're gonna bust this down and sell them individually and then uh, we got two free hat pins from the Ocean Drive collab that's gonna be up for sale and then uh, some kind of that I've kind of tried to stay away from but this color was actually really fire it's the Eric Emanuel black and cream uh, side stripe shorts and a double XL. These are nice. Um, we're gonna list them and see what we get for them. Um, but that's just some of the stuff we've got in this week. Um, I have one sale I have to go drop off right now. It's uh, potato, around potato uh, crab slides in the black colorway. These are kind of sick, a little different. Um, we ended up getting stuck with a lot of these and uh, we've just been kind of selling them little by little which is cool but um everything's been good sales have been booming we're just trying to stay uh committed and uh, keep everything going storage is getting better every single day just cleaning um but we should have more stuff posted on our ebay soon and also on our grilled and we appreciate everyone who keeps on watching was good guys another day back in the storage we have been extremely busy we have cleaned up we have got organized and i believe this is probably the best it's gonna get for a while but we have been extremely busy we've had some new pickups we've had a lot of good stuff so just to be honest and 100 percent transparent uh this week started off real slow uh, we weren't making any sales all week, but I don't know what happened Friday payday Everything started going um, We made roughly So it's Friday today. I mean it, it's Friday when we started making sales Today is Sunday so two days and in two days. We've sold ten items have made close to two grand so this video uh, Hopefully I could get to the orders today. If not, that'll be tomorrow um, but we have a lot of pickups and a lot of them that I just grabbed. So, uh, here, take a look. First, we got this Wheaties vintage snapback. Super clean, super nice, two-tone. We got this Randy Johnson jersey that's on the floor. It's an Arizona Diamondbacks. Real nice. We got this Chrome Hearts hat. I'm not a real big fan of Chrome Hearts, but I got this in a trade. Uh, I traded my top three Jordan 1s for $400 cash and the hat which goes anywhere from like four to eight hundred depending on where you sell it next up we got this vintage San Francisco Giants hat super OG I believe I've seen this hat before like on a vintage TV show and I'm gonna see if I could find it I think it was on an episode of Full House honestly but that's super neat all right then we got this vintage Florida Marlins uh, fitted no side patch but the all teal gang brent bim a little bit but it's the og new era which is awesome you don't really see these anymore but super og kind of the retro crown that's pretty awesome and then uh 
this is uh something pretty cool pretty random and uh we got a couple of them buffalo bison sliding bison fitted uh we were able to snipe six of these usually it's pretty impossible to even snipe one but uh we snipe six um us and the team really uh went crazy so uh we did our thing on that one for sure next up uh we got this detroit red wings fitted seven and a half quick little pickup and we got that one for like 10 bucks we got this astros uh fourth of july side patch houston usa uh fitted also pretty cool this one's my favorite because you really don't see these um baltimore orioles carhartt snapback super clean super nice the o the orange on the o just pops so i really messed with this one all right uh next thing we found oh uh, these nike copper foam posits these are pretty cool size eight i think we picked these up for around 30 40 bucks I mean, I feel we could get like a hundred shift or something. So we're gonna go ahead and run this and see uh, how that goes. Let's see what else we got though. Next thing we got is this vintage Rangers majestic jersey. This one's cool because the patches are actually stitched and the shirt is, uh, it's not a jersey material. It's actually like a t-shirt material, but it has buttons. Very like vintage look, kind of like a cream color to it now. It's a little bit dirty, but we could wash it and make it look right. But that's the next one. This right here, guys, is a grill. <sighs> Vintage Chicago Bulls Jordan 45 jersey. Hardwood classics. I think it's a 2XL long, so that's why it looks super long. Fully stitched. Big Jordan. On the back. Super icy. I don't know about the authenticity about some of these jerseys that I find just because there's so many jerseys and a lot of the fake ones are really, really good. But this one, to find this, is super dope. And it looks long and I've tried it on and it fits perfect. But the show must go on, guys. But this right here is something that, man, like I've only seen a handful of these i also have a jordan white Sox one which is probably super rare um but man anytime i find jordan stuff it's awesome but to be real with you it's kobe stuff that i i've never found one in the wild but this one right here it's definitely something dope all right guys hold on this fan is super loud sorry it is hot 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 where i'm at so i have this fan on but unfortunately it's too loud and it makes a lot of noise when it comes to recording so sorry with me sorry about that and bear with me but <laughs> i made a sale the other day and it was for this guy right here this is an aaron potato louis vuitton plushie uh it's pretty old now he hasn't came out with it for a while but I realized I have all, I have three of them. And there's supposed to be four. The red one's like the hardest one to find. But I uh, sold this guy right here for around, um, I want to say like $100 shipped. So it's cool. I just wanted to show you guys these just because it's pretty dope that I have three out of the four. Um, and unfortunately, I have to separate a set of them. But it's cool though. I just thought it would be something neat for y'all to see. Uh, something random that I sold this past week all right guys so we're back uh, I got here probably like an hour ago just been finding items that I sold um, this week again was slow but it uh, picked up in the last three days it's been extremely busy um, for me with work and my other jobs plus doing all this business um, but it picked up for the best so um let's go ahead and just see some of the cells and uh i'll pack them up and we're gonna go drop them off at the post office uh first thing that i could reach 
are these uh, Space Jam 11s. Um, got these worn. I think I paid like around fifty dollars from for them. Uh, I got them off somebody um, that I met online. Fifty bucks, and then I bought another pair of Jordan Nines. Um, but it was cool. The Nines actually sold faster than these, but sold faster than these, but it's not too bad $50 I think I sold them for $195 shipped so that's the first order of the day this one you probably saw in the last video um, it's a Nolan R. Ronaldo jersey uh, paid $25 for them the next thing is this Cardinal Nolan R. Ronaldo jersey it was brand new uh, paid $50 for it tried to sell it for $100 because the new one goes for like $120, $140 uh, ended up getting $60 shipped I had a good week so I have a good week. I can go ahead and afford to let them go for a cheaper price. Um, the next thing is this Lou Gehrig jersey, the wool one. You probably saw this one on uh, the last video too. This one sold for around eighty dollars um, locally, so it was a pretty good flip. Paid twenty five on this one, so it was pretty solid. All right, guys. And the next thing is this Drew House T size double XL. Paid like fifty dollars for this. Think I sold it for around ninety five shipped. Um, this is cool. It takes a while to sell. Before, it used to sell really quickly. Uh, unfortunately, they've had a lot of drops lately, so it doesn't really move for me well, but it's kind of cool to kind of have it in the archive just so we can have something to move. The next thing we have is this Warren Lotus tee. Um, this one sold for around $165 ship. It's $95. Uh, they messed up on one of my orders, so we ended up, they ended up just, um, giving me a discount code so I ended up getting it for like $50 so it was cool sold it for one fifty ish 60-ish ship um, so yeah it was cool to see that go the next thing we have is this Pop Smoke V-Loan double XLT uh, this one actually sold for $150 plus shipping um, these actually only go for around like $50 online but there's a lot of fakes there's a lot of fake V-Loan guys you guys some people think that I'm charging a lot for this, but this is guaranteed real, original tag, original sticker, in bag, and I have my receipt for it from the VLoan website. So, the customer who actually bought this messaged me and asked me like if it was real. I said, yeah, 100%, I have the receipt. And uh, he said he bought the same shirt from one of these apps that say official guarantee i'm not gonna say the name on here i'm gonna show them love and it came back and it was fake and he paid 67 dollars, which is below retail retail I believe on this is 90 plus shipping um and he ended up knowing that it was fake so he ended up buying it for me so shout out to you man i'm sorry that it happened to you but i'm glad that i'm gonna get a real one in your hands appreciate it all right the next thing we did is sold this og grail supreme new york new york yankees collab uh i forget what year this is from but it's pretty freaking old um but i sold this for around 165 plus shipping uh, hold on i'll tell you what year it is from 2015 so this is like seven years old now still brand new dsn bag paid one i think i paid like 60 dollars for this and i sold it for 160 so i'm kind of sad to see it go i'm a huge baseball fan but man the show must go on all right the next thing i sold is uh the little kim supreme tea i bought this for the personal realized it's kind of not my thing so i decided to just sell it sold for around 90 shit all right last but not least these jordan 9 chili reds sold didn't really make much of a profit they made like five six dollars but just bought it just because i want to keep my sneakers app engagement up so i bought them it's cool made some money um got to sell on the page and uh someone's gonna be happy with it so that's all that matters really sometimes you have to uh invest in order to get bigger things and better things so this is just one of those things where i entered i ended up winning it and sold it for four dollar profit and uh the next thing i sold thought i was it but there's this last one this hat club og um uh atlanta braves hat still brand new with tags i uh, sold this one for around 90 plus shipping 
Um, this one I bought in a lot. I think I ended up paying like $27. I bought, I think it was 50 hats for around 800 bucks. I ended up paying like 20 bucks a hat or something. I don't know, but this is pretty good. It was a good flip. So I'm going to go ahead and pack these up and drop them off at the post office.